year, thousands of tourists come here to Sleepy Hollow Cemetery in Concord, Massachusetts to visit the grave sites of famous American literary figures buried here on Authors Ridge. These include the graves of Henry David Thoreau, he of Walden Pond, Nathaniel Hawthorne, whose novel The Scarlet Letter earned him a place in the pantheon of America's literary giants, Louisa May Alcott, who penned the popular semi-biographical novel Little Women, and Ralph Waldo Emerson, the great transcendental poet and philosopher. Several hundred yards away from this hallowed area tucked away on Hawthorne Lane in a more secluded and less frequented section of Sleepy Hollow Cemetery, one can find the grave of another author of sorts who also lived in Concord, Catherine K. Davis. Affectionately called K. by her friends, Catherine K. Davis made her mark in the world of music education. Teaching at nearby Concord Academy and at Wellesley College, in addition to composing operas, choruses, children's operettas, cantatas, piano and organ pieces, and songs. The royalties and proceeds from these compositions she left to Wellesley's College's music department. In 1941, while trying to take a nap at her home on Lexington Road, a new tune kept running through her head, one that she felt was worth working on. The words practically wrote themselves, she once said, and so she went downstairs and wrote them out, producing a tune she would title The Carol of the Drum. Then, 18 years later, in December of 1959, a friend called her and said, Kay, your carol is on the air, all the time, everywhere on the radio. The surprised Davis asked, What carol? Her friend's response, The Little Drummer Boy. Davis went on to say she didn't ever write a carol called The Little Drummer Boy. So she tuned in a station, any old station, and there it was, the most beautiful recording she could ever imagine. There were about two words different, and a few notes changed, and it was being aired just about every five minutes. Davis admitted it was very exciting, but sort of disturbing as well. She telephoned one station and calmly declared, That's my carol you're broadcasting. So the station took her name and number, and called back to tell her that the carol was called The Little Drummer Boy, with four or five names attached to it, but not hers. Eventually, after some legal jostling, Catherine K. Davis's music publisher helped to have her name rightfully credited to one of the most popular American carols of the 20th century. Needless to say, The Little Drummer Boy is one of 47 carols and holiday songs found in Ron Clancy's American Christmas Classics. Catherine K. Davis continued writing music until she became ill in the winter of 1979 to 1980. She died on April 20th, 1980, at the age of 88. Today, she rests in peace in the pastoral shade of Hawthorne Lane in Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. Thank you.